Good morning, everyone. Yes, so we are excited. It's Monday morning by us. It's early morning here by us. So yeah, we always try to get this lightning right. But other than that, we are fine. And we had a very strong um, weekend once again. And I'm excited on this Monday morning to talk on something that really, really, really is important. And not only important for me, but everyone and most of us during this time finds ourselves in relationships. Our other children are preparing to start relationships. So for us, relationships are one of those discussions, one of those topics that you really would have to get engaged with that you have to talk about, that you have to sometimes understand to do right, that you have to get uh, the foundation of wanting to do it right. And we have learned in this season and in this era that we as a generation are ready to really do it right and are ready to really start our relationships on that pure respective approach. Because we have been challenged a lot, women especially, we come out of a lot of challenges of not knowing and of only allowing, but we are in a season and in a time where we have to stand our ground and we have to stand up for those boundary lines of protection, for those boundary lines of respect. And I always say that respect is you protecting you. Respect is you making sure that you are fine. And in this season, we have to learn to know that emotionally, I'm responsible to make sure that I am fine. That mentally, I'm responsible to make sure that I am fine. That physically, I'm responsible to make sure that I am fine. And therefore, we cannot ignore relationship talks because relationship talks sometimes Cause, causes us and our relationships sometimes causes causes us to want to hide things that we are going through and we are in a season where we cannot hide you can, can't hide your pain you have seen people speaking up on their social pages when they are being challenged in their relationships because we have learned as human beings as women that we sometimes would have to speak about what we are going through that you can try and protect yourself in so many ways but then at the end of the day you will learn sit and go through that pain if there's others that's going to really care for you, then yes, they would care for you. But don't sit there and go through your pain alone. Because know that every one of us have challenges in our relationships. Whether it's, and some have challenges on a daily basis. Some have issues once in a while. Some never had issues. And when they get to the time when they really have issues, then they don't know how to deal with it. Then, then they don't know how to emotionally get up and be fine again because they have not prepared themselves that, yes, there's going to be issues in relationships. And therefore, when people talk up about what they are going through, don't you think that that person is weak? They are not weak. They are actually stronger than many of us who sits in pain and in abuse and in manipulations on a regular basis. I have met someone recently who really, whom I didn't know is going through so much pain. But me having to just speak to the person and we were taking a walk and then she was just talking and talking about what she's going through. And I said, wow, yeah, I'm sitting in this country. Everyone's doors are closed. No one knows what no one is going through. But there are really people being challenged on a daily basis. And therefore, we have to speak up for what is required. And therefore, I'm not going to be long on this session, but I want to focus on a few things during this session. And my main priority with this discussion is do not pay, take it personal. If you are challenged in your relationship, don't take it personal. Because once you take it personal, you take all the heavy weight of what you are being challenged with and you put it upon yourself. And therefore, my main importance with this talk that I'm going to have today is do not take relationship challenges personal. So you get out there, you stand up and you continue to appear. When your partner 
um, when your partner have an affair, when there's issues in your household, when there's issues in your relationship, don't take it personal on you. Because once you take that challenge personal, my dear, then you are not respecting you. Then you are not protecting you. Because once you take whatever someone has done in your relationship against you, once you take that upon yourself, you carry that heavy weight. And when you carry someone else's weight, you sometimes don't know how to handle the situation and then emotionally and mentally mentally you take it upon yourself and physically it will be visible that you are going through a challenge and then anger and hatred and abuse and all of these things will be part of that heavy weight that you carry and therefore when someone goes out when someone goes to cheat on you respect yourself by not taking that person's reactions personally but let them carry their that weight themselves you step out of it you protect yourself by keeping a distance from that person and by saying that my boundary lines of respect is that I'm not going to carry your weight so when I stay with you in this relationship and this is where you are at in this relationship then it means I'm carrying that weight of everything that you are doing that weight of everything that revolves around the woman that you are cheating with and I am stepping out only because I say I'm not taking it personal this is not my battle and I'm not going to make it mine and because you decide to not make it yours you step aside you keep that boundary line of protection that boundary lines of respect and you step out of it because once you stay in a relationship where someone is cheating you take that cheating upon yourself you take that other partner's issues upon yourself you take whatever your partner is going to experience with that person you take it upon yourself then you are carrying so much weight and that's not what we are meant to be here for we are not meant to carry everyone's issues and therefore when you are challenged in your relationships my dear let me tell you today it is fine and it is always is gonna be fine you just need to know how to step out you just need to know how to continue to protect yourself you just need to know how to not take it personal i am saying this because we are gonna find ourselves in this era in so many things because everyone is going crazy people have decided that they are going to the age of 40 and because we are going to 40 we are more younger than we have ever been because now we're going almost to 50 years old now we want to do things we want to be on tinder we want to be on all of these dating sites and then you find yourselves with a partner who's trying to find themselves at the age of 40 years old because he needs to understand what 40 is about and that's what the person told me listen here my partner is going to the age of 40 and now he's confused and now he finds himself on this dating site and he's experiencing all of these things and here i'm sitting as a wife at the house and not knowing where the husband is at i said my dear you don't take it personal because once you take it personal he's gonna try and abuse you he's gonna try and pin it all on you he's gonna try and tell you that this is not right in your life and that this is not right and that you don't look right and all of these things so don't you ever take that person's issues on yourself that is all that i want to say today because emotionally protect yourself mentally make sure that you are fine and physically don't carry that weight of someone else because physically when you are challenged and you start to overeat and you start to get swollen out that means you are carrying that weight of that person my friend let me tell you don't carry that weight mentally make sure that you are fine that you always appear with us knowing that you are fine and emotionally make sure that you protect yourself keep that power lines of protection step out of that relationship say that i am going to still be fine and yes we all need to sometimes say that because individually it is our responsibility to make sure that we are fine we have all been born unto earth individually and yes we are all required to individually say my husband is not gonna be there when i'm challenged one day he might just look at me the one day and the next day if i'm weak then he can't even help me properly because he's just my husband and therefore individually we were born unto earth individually we would react and do things that others would not agree with and therefore we are individually required to make sure 
that we protect ourselves, that we respect ourselves, that those boundary lines of respect does not stop the moment that you are married with a person, does not stop the moment that you are in a serious relationship with that person, because those are the times that you would have to understand what those boundary lines of respect means and what it truly stands for. And therefore, my only motivation during this season to relationships, to us in relationships is let us not take it personal. Let us not take our relationship issues personal. Let us not take what someone else has done wrong upon ourselves. Let us not take it personal when we are challenged in our relationships. When people talk about our relationships and they say, oh, if you seen Rubia's husband did this and he did this, then you don't take it personal because that's your husband's story. That's not yours story don't make it your story keep yourself fine and that is all we want to see in this season we don't have anything else to see other than that you are all individually fine and someone else is not going to be responsible for that you are the only one that is going to be responsible that you are fine, my dear. No one else is going to be out there and saying that, oh, you see, this happened in the relationship and now this is how she appears. People will speak things upon you. And that is sometimes how people want to see you. But you make sure that you keep that boundary line of protecting you by respecting you, by making sure that when I enter that relationship, that husband and that boyfriend knows that these boundary lines of respect is saying that I respect myself. I value myself enough to not step into this relationship only because of lust, only because of this guy that wants to sleep with me. Because because either this guy is going to be serious and going to be respecting me and or either he's on that young mindset of just wanting to flirt with women and you see those signs in the early stage my dear don't be confused by it don't go around and let a man mess you up and later in life you can't get out of it because you are still so, so stuck up in this messed up lifestyle and this messed up relationship but when you see the signs of people who's not serious about relationships then don't tell yourself that you are in a relationship because that is not you respecting you. That is not you protecting you. That is you selling yourself short because of someone else's expectations, because of someone else's lifestyle. And you cannot make their lifestyle yours. Because once you make their lifestyle yours, they might try and manipulate it. They might try and abuse you. They might try and misuse you. And then all the bullying and harassment and all the things behind the doors happens because this person realizes that you are into just saying yes for everything that they require you to do. And therefore, let us continue to respect ourselves to keep that boundary lines of, boundary lines of protection by saying that if this relationship does not look like a relationship, then I'm not going to see it as a relationship. And if I value myself respective, then I'm not going to find myself in this relationship. Because no, we are not all women who just wants to sleep with the next guy. No, we are not all women who just want to find ourselves in a relationship with the next guy and then with the other guy. But some of us really, really values respect. And some of us really values that we honestly are not out there to mess it up. But we stand for the pure factor of relationships. And there's some woman that I admire that understands that pure respect factor of relationships. And that's where we're at in this era. Some have might have been abused by it. Some might have abused it. But others are saying that no, we stand for the respective approach. We are ready to understand the pureness, the respectiveness of love. And we are ready to be loved in a respective way. And therefore, we don't accept anything that is not us upon ourselves. Sometimes we go through seasons and we find ourselves in clubs and out of clubs. But even when I was in my drunkest moments, I was knowing who's around me. I was looking at what is this guy's reaction around me. I was checking out what is his views, what is his mindset. And when I still saw that people are just out there to catch one another and out there to mess one another up in the clubs, I said, no, 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 no. This is not me. I might be drunk, but you are not going to mess me up. 
and therefore we are all out there with whatever we are going through we are all still responsible to make sure that we are fine we can't go and blame it on someone else yes you might be drinking but know how much you are drinking know what it is that you are drinking so that you still can keep an eye on people to not abuse you and then later in the years you have found yourself that you have going through all of those things that you don't know about and you don't talk about and you can't say what you went through and you find yourself challenged in life and everyone just wants to now challenge and abuse you because they don't really know what happened and therefore keep a sober mind when we are in our clubs when we are drinking when we are doing all of our wrong things and when we are drinking all of those whiskey someone said the other day they only enjoy a whiskey and then i thought wow whiskey is so strong what do you do when you as when you get into that whiskey mindset and people want to abuse you and there is life out there i've seen it on these streets in auckland city